Apt Era Motors, a solar electric vehicle, SEV, startup with a unique approach to sustainable mobility, has made significant progress with its production intent, PI, builds, aiming to start production next year. However, the timeline for delivering its first SEVs to customers remains uncertain and is primarily dependent on securing crucial funding. Recently, AptEra quietly updated its estimated delivery schedules for reservation holders, providing insight into its production outlook. Despite these updates, the specific numbers AptEra aims for are still fluid, hinging on additional funding that has yet to be secured, a recurring challenge in the world of startups. Among the remaining solar EV startups, AptEra Motors stands out as a company with the potential to redefine sustainable transportation. It has been on a journey to develop SEVs, with ambitions to eventually scale production and make a substantial impact on the automotive industry. AptEra's pursuit of this goal has been far from straightforward. The company has experienced ups and downs and has even undergone a revival to reach its current state where it is poised to begin scaling production. The company has made significant progress over the years, advancing its technology and production readiness. Yet, to fully realize its vision and reach large-scale production, Aptera must overcome several obstacles. Chief among these is securing adequate funding. Aptera has long relied on a dedicated base of supporters, including reservation holders who have financially backed the company. This support was instrumental in helping AptEra secure $135 million through a crowdfunding campaign, drawing in over 17,000 investors and setting a record for crowdfunded capital raised. While this influx of capital has allowed AptEra to sustain its efforts and move forward with pre-production builds, known as Body in Carbon, Bin C, Builds, it still requires more funding to deliver on its commitments to early supporters. Aptera recently announced a partnership with U.S. Capital Global in July, aimed at raising an additional $60 million in capital. This funding is essential to begin low-volume production, with hopes of achieving larger-scale production after that. Nevertheless, three months into the fundraising effort, Aptera has not yet raised the full amount. The initial $60 million goal, while critical, is just the beginning of what AptEra needs to reach substantial production levels. Additional rounds of funding will be required to achieve scalability. Consequently, AptEra recently adjusted its estimated delivery timelines while navigating its financial uncertainties. These updates first came to light through discussions on the AptEra Owners Club Discord page, where many members who are investors in Aptra's Accelerator program noted that their expected delivery windows had shifted from the first half of 2025 to 2026. Meanwhile, reservation holders who are not part of the Accelerator program saw their delivery estimates change from 2026 to TBA. Those who invested more significantly in Aptra's crowdfunding campaign still have a chance to receive their vehicles before the end of 2025. Based on information shared on Discord and other public statements from Aptera, it appears that only the top 60 accelerator investors will likely receive their SEVs in 2025. The remaining 1,940 accelerators will probably have to wait until at least 2026. Seeking further clarification, AptEra confirmed that its goal is to build 60 customer units in 2025 as part of an initial low-volume production run. However, this target is heavily dependent on securing the full $60 million through its current funding efforts. A representative from AptEra noted that they are actively working to raise this funding over the next three to six months, aiming to use it to progress toward low-volume production. If successful, Aptera anticipates starting production within 9 to 12 months after securing this capital. The updated delivery timeline estimates reflect the reality that without adequate funding, Aptera will have to delay scaling its production. As such, while some reservation holders may be disappointed by these delays, the news is consistent with the warnings Aptera issued back in July. At that time, the company had already suggested that significant SEV deliveries likely wouldn't occur until 2026, with an initial target of building 371 units in 2025. Now, it appears that number has been reduced to around 100. Aptera's revised timelines are not necessarily a cause for concern as the company is continuing to make strides toward production. However, the ability to reach its scaling goals will depend largely on securing substantial funding in the near future. 
When asked about the possibility of scaling production further, Aptra's representatives explained that reaching a production target of 20,000 vehicles per year would require approximately $195 million in additional capital. They plan to raise these funds through various means, including equity, debt, and possibly an IPO. As Apt Era Motors moves forward, the company remains focused on achieving its production goals and maintaining its momentum. However, the company's path forward is still heavily reliant on securing funding to fuel its progress. Completing the current $60 million investment round will be a crucial step, but Aptra's ultimate vision of producing SEVs at scale will require even more significant funding. With a total capital requirement of around $195 million to scale production beyond the initial low-volume phase, Apt Era is facing a considerable challenge. Despite these financial hurdles, Apt Era continues to attract support from its dedicated base of fans and reservation holders, many of whom are optimistic about the company's potential to make a positive impact on the environment through its innovative solar EVs. While Aptra's production timeline may remain uncertain for now, the company is determined to reach its goals and contribute to the growth of sustainable transportation. With the help of ongoing financial support, Apt Era Motors hopes to one day achieve large-scale production, making its SEVs more widely available to customers and helping to shape the future of sustainable mobility. That's where we wrap things up for the time being. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.